All right, hey Capricorn. So I'm doing a month overview for October. Um, I haven't done these reads. Uh, I don't think I've ever done them, to be honest. But I, I mean, I think I've done them once. But we're going to do a month overview for October. All right, and you're just going to know whether the, this read uh, resonates with your current self. Um, and if it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements, please. And I am going to do the cards differently. I'm going to shuffle differently. Um, I feel like we're going to get the best... Um, out of this deck as it comes and I have confidence that everything will come out with the guidance of Ascended Master Hilarion as it needs to be stated. If you guys are new, welcome. I do hope that you'll stick around. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope you'll stick around. Subscribe if you like my energy. All right, so we're gonna start with your current self. So who we are talking to, we have the two of Gabriel coming through. All right, so um, your current self right now could just be at an impasse, not really knowing what road to take. Um, you could have two different um, roads. Um, this is all about roads. Which one do I take? What path do I go down? All right, what this card is telling you is to make bold and ambitious choices. Okay, so if you have um, a path over here that is the known you already know what's going to happen if you take this path. It's comfortable. It's it's whatever. Um, and you really feel pulled towards that. What this card is saying is to make the bold and ambitious choice. All right. So it's like stepping into unknown. Um, great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So if you're coming over here and you got these two paths and this one over here is saying, this is comfortable and I know it, but it doesn't align with who I am and how I believe and how I feel. And this one over here, I have no idea, but your intuition is telling you good things possibly coming from this. What this card is saying is it's time to take the road less travel. It's time to, it's time to, it's time to step into the unknown, really. All right. Um, the two of Gabriel also presents um, itself as at the end of light at the end of life, being able to, um, build, being able to have something that you can look back on, being confident about your choices and decisions. This is building an empire. This is having something to fall back on. This is being old and just sitting back and saying, wow, everything that I did, you know, I, I'm proud of myself for that. So the two of Gabriel's coming through, um, just telling you to be bold about whatever decisions that you're having trouble with right now, whether it's a person, whether it's a work situation, it's the road less traveled. Okay. Whether you're torn between two, even, um, I just feel like this is just having a tough time making a decision. All right. So I feel like this card is really telling you to take the road less traveled. Um, the overall theme coming into the month of, um, October, you have perspective coming through with Archangel Shamael. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. Um, this is the hanged man. So the overall theme is going to bring to light illusion, delusion, uncertainty. All right. Um, this right here is also going to, I feel, um, if you just look at this, this is like the hangman card coming through. And do you see how this archangel is just all illuminated? There's going to be some illumination, all right, to a, a, a person, place, or thing, a job, any aspect where you feel like there's illusion, delusion, and uncertainty. Capricorn, there's going to be some light that's brought to this darkness when it comes to this uncertain situation, all right? Um if you're in a situation that you don't have a lot of clarity on right now, this card is going to bring that perspective into place when it comes through October. So basically, we're not going to say sit tight, but what you what you will see and what you will find out is there's going to be a better um, plan that's brought to action when it comes to October. Okay, pause for re reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Also, too, it's like don't don't make a choice based on haste. Okay. Um, you know, if you guys are kind of sitting here and you're just thinking, um, of the unknown, what you can't see, it's just don't act in hesitation. It's time to just, um, p fall back. Also too, um, for those of you who pray and you meditate, ask for Archangel Shamael to come through and give you the guidance that you need for whatever is kind of hidden, whatever you, you're not seeing clearly right now. Okay. Um, a key goal, a key a key goal to pursue this month in October. We have the nine of Gabriel stay determined and move forward. 
be prepared for any possibility environmental activism also the nine of gabriel um a key goal to pursue so this is like a self goal okay this card is coming through because a lot of you guys have blockages and there's some removal of these blockages that need to be set in motion all right the blockages is coming from either wounds from the past um, mistrusting energies of the past it's not letting people in if you think of the nine of wands that's um it's not that you're being a self-defeatist it's that you don't trust sometimes in the process and what this is saying is it's time to move forward um, when we let our guard down, um, we can prepare ourselves for poss possibilities to come. All right. Um, I feel like this card is coming through is, and it could be too, that you guys, um, have some sort of environmental activist, um, situation or stance that you feel, and it's okay to pursue that. I feel like this is more going to be on the emotional level and the, um, interpersonal level. So dealing with people, dealing with energies. And I feel like the nine of Gabriel is saying, you never know who's going to come into your life when you let that guard down. So for those of you who don't trust people, for those of you who have a hard time letting people in, um, especially when it comes to financial endeavors, romance, you know, you're wanting to, to, to venture out and find something new when it comes to life. Um, the nine of Gabriel is allowing you to let your guard down and let this, let the situation it's, it's okay to be acceptant, but also to use your intuition, you know, if, um, if something feels really, really good to you, but you're just so used to keeping your guard up and you're just so used to kind of just not having faith in humanity as it sits, it's okay to let these in, these energies in when you feel comfortable, when you feel like it's okay to, it's okay to acknowledge that intuitive part of you coming through, if that makes sense. Um, an obstacle to overcome for the month. You got the page of Michael, truthful, percept perceptive, analytical, and blunts okay um so an obstacle to overcome is basically um you got an exciting new challenge coming in you have what it takes to succeed review contracts or documents very thoroughly all right and um you know what here's what i want to say it does not have to be physical form of paper or documents coming through this can be something intuitive something that you're kind of guided to kind of do like a, a regression on all right past life contracts when it comes to people trying to figure out where you, your stance is with this person um an obstacle to overcome so what i almost feel with this um situation is you could have a person that you really just aren't trusting or you just don't trust whatever the situation is all right and this can be in any aspect it does not have to be romantic it could be business it could be work it could be anything all right um and it, basically the obstacle is is you don't trust in the situation the page of michael is telling you to trust in it and trust your intuition all right just make sure you review everything very very thoroughly the page of swords is all about new ideas curiosity it's also um somebody too who's coming through that's driven to succeed um if the energy of this situation is fat, it's too fast, it's fast thinking, it's restless, it seems unfocused, impulsive, um, there, you know, or if you're dealing with somebody who's all talk and no action, that's where you're going to use that gut intuition. All right. But the obstacle to overcome is fear. Um, don't, don't categorize everybody. Don't put everybody in that same notion, whether this is romantic, whether it's business, whether it's work, I feel like everybody um, can apply this page of Michael in their own way. All right. Ask for clarity too. Um, when it comes to um, what you're kind of fearing, when it comes to what your current life situation is. Um, and everybody's going to have a different um, situation that applies to them. Okay, again, um, the obstacle to overcome is is uh, is uh, opening that um, clear line of communication. Um, you know, perceptive, it's analytical, it's being blunt too. And blunt is okay, especially when you're seeking the truth and, and you're wanting to acknowledge the truth. All right. Um, so hopefully that's that's helped you guys in some way um, acknowledge kind of what that that obstacle might be. Everybody's going to have a different obstacle, um, a major accomplishment coming through. Ooh, you got the strength card coming through and the strength card is all about control, glory and resilience. 
So a major accomplishment coming through is um, guided by Archangel Ariel. All right. This is strength and grace through kindness, um, self-confidence and forgiveness. Okay. So think about the energies and the people that you deal with on the day to day. Um, think about romantic relationships. Think about familial relationships. Think about um, uh, networking relationships that you have. So a major accomplishment accomplishment coming through um, the month of October is is embodying um, kindness. All right. So when you embody kindness, you're just going to see all sorts of things start to flourish. All right. Throughout this whole entire month. Um, be kind. When you're kind, kind things start to happen for you. Also, too, you're just coming through with this self-confidence. Um, and, and it's the acknowledgement of self-confidence through kindness. So it's like, I know that good things are going to happen for me if I just start to implement my life in these ways. All right. Forgiving, healing the past. All right. So that beautiful things come. Um, this is like, it is glory. It is resilience coming through for you. And I feel like it's finding, it's finding that honor within yourself. Okay, so a major accomplishment coming through, again, kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness, it's strength and grace through kindness. And you know what? I am I know I sound like a broken record right now, but what I want to say is um, a lot of people find it very hard to be kind. Um, you know, a lot of people find it very hard um, to be kind. They find it, they find ridicule, um, um, whether it's the person on the receiving end or the giving end, you know, ridicule is very, very easy. But when we, when we come by life in kindness and I can attest Capricorn, um, there's so much beautiful things that come through and it, it really is, um, glory that comes through overall. Okay. So em embrace this coming through in October. Um, what to avoid, we got the seven of Michael. Ooh. Okay. So the seven of Michael, you guys, this is like the seven of swords. This is gaslighters, manipulators, liars, cheaters, thieves, anybody who has done you wrong in the past. Okay. And you also call out to Archangel Michael. You call out to him, ask for protection when it comes to these certain energies. There's a better course of action coming available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer and review all the details. Um, so working alone as far as may not be the best answer. It could just be where our mental mindset is. So if you're really, really trying to focus on something, all right, it might be um, best to come in and call in a set of extra hands. But on the re relationship aspects of this, I just feel like as far as what to avoid it's people who are going to put you in the low vibrational energies so if you guys are on any sort of spiritual path i will assume you are still here listening anybody who is not um elevated anybody who is not even inclined to be on that same path as you it's time to avoid those energies because what they're going to do essentially is drag you down all right um and i feel like this is just causing it's, it's a calling for trouble um specifically i am going to say that this could be um um um, Aquarius energy. I'm not qual calling out Aquarius people, but I am saying if any of you guys have an Aquarius person that has done you wrong, um, mentally, physically, emotionally, okay. I feel like it's pay attention to that energy and I'm not saying all Aquarius energy is bad. No, what I'm saying is, is if there's a sign associated to your life and I'm trying to be specific on this point, because this is a really harsh card to come out for this on what to avoid. So some of you guys are dealing with some manipulative energies out there. All right. And it doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could just be anybody that, you know, is a gaslighter, a manipulator, somebody who just feels really, really like they're just misaligned with who you are. It's time to avoid that person, especially in October. Um, another thing I'm going to say is, um, this is, might sound weird, but uh, black magic is coming to mind. We have October coming through and a lot of people do actually put a lot of energy into black magic and the the, um, the darker side of, of the spiritual aspects. And anybody you know, um, just avoid that situation, avoid that person, um, especially if something in your stomach is just telling you, I need to avoid that person, okay? What to embrace in October? You got the Knight of Ariel coming through. Oh, this is um, this is very good energy. The Knight of Ariel is like um, it's Taurus energy. It's Aries energy. So if you have anybody um, that's Taurus or Aries specifically that you can surround yourself in, that's gonna bring you um, trust, understanding devotion and good times. Okay. So, and it's, again, it's not those people specifically, uh, Aries Taurus, but you know, some of you guys might need to hear that. Um, 
with the Knight of um, Pentacles, this is somebody, this is basically saying, um, embrace those people who are hardworking, who, who know how to stick to routine in such a way that it doesn't grant boredom, feeling stuck, or is a perfectionist. All right. There's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan and being watched over by somebody kind. Um, that's coming through for you in October. You guys, um, this is also to kind of kin to slow and steady wins the race. All right. So don't try to rush any projects. Don't try to rush anything that's coming through for you in October because all is going to be unfolding as it should all right that's beautiful energy so um where you can find support we have the three of Raphael. um this is friendships this is community this is people who make you feel good okay also too if you need help finding um and navigating this tribe of people call out to archangel Raphael. um reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy annou announcements regarding relationships and children okay so if you're invited to a baby shower if you are invited to a wedding if you're invited to any sort of outing that has to do with family and friendships this card is telling you to go to to this function you need to go to that anything that makes you feel really really good about going um especially um under the notion of happy news coming to you this card is telling you to go do that because um these these friendships and this um familial ship is gonna it's gonna help you throughout the month okay parties you got the the halloween coming up you got a lot of good energy coming through um and you guys your overall advice for the month you have the 10 of Gabriel. Um, ask your angels for helping people to lighten your load. Working too many hours and trying hard, too hard to please others. All right. This is about laying down the burdens and asking for help. All right. The overall advice for the month is if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling like you're just overwhelmed, it's time to ask. It's time to ask for help. It's time to seek guidance. It's time to, um, a lot of us can be very, very stubborn. And this card is just calling for you to ask for help throughout the month when you feel that you need help all right um you guys i really like this read i'm gonna leave it here i do hope to get your um um respected feedback um but it looks beautiful from where i'm sitting you guys take care